We've had a workshop today on medicines optimisation. The morning was spent working with some of our national stakeholders looking at how they support us with getting the right medicines to the right people at the right time in the right dose. And this afternoon we looked at some examples of really good local practice where we are doing this on the ground and we're making sure that people in their own homes can support their own medications. We've looked at some of the enablers to that but we've also looked at some of the barriers and how we can work together to make things a reality to improve care and treatment people. Now the advantage of uh, an integrated service is it's fast. It, because it, it talks to the computers in the hospital, you can get all the information with regards to the patient in terms of the dem demography but by just putting a single patient identifier in. Well, I think it's really, this is one of um, 15 roadshows that we're doing across the country and I think this is about number seven and uh, like many of the others I think tapping into the, the energy in the room in terms of what people are doing and how they see the whole medicines optimisation programme is incredibly valuable to us. We're hoping that we can get to a place where every child who's diagnosed with atopic eczema gets at the point of diagnosis this box, everything they need in one kit to manage um, the child's atopic eczema and we're hoping that that means that there'll be no unnecessary suffering. And learning about what's happening at a local level in terms of medicines optimisation and how people are bringing those principles to life in terms of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis um, actually makes it feel as if you know we're starting to, to head down the right path for this and uh, that's really very exciting. We can see more patients, we can lower our waiting times for other patients and GPs also, they are quite happy that it is reduces cost related to our patient administration. So the things that we'll take forward from today, we've looked at some of the enablers to make innovation work in this area. So we will work with some people who have got those enablers to get innovation into practice. But we've also looked at some of the barriers and some of the constraints that people in our system are under to put innovation into practice. So we will look to work with them to reduce some of those barriers and actually very practically to help them to get their medicines optimisation innovation to the next step.